extremely interesting. This is live Google Earth as we can see it today. And uh, you can swing around in a lot of different uh, areas to see that this is genuinely. And then we zoomed in on that. So uh, I started to put a uh, PowerPoint together. And what happened was this. When we look at the uh, structure from above, it is all done by Photoshop. That the actual building no longer is seen. It's overlaid on top of it. So what I had to do, I'll go to Google Earth and show you. Go to another one. See all the waypoints I've put in. They're coming in from a, uh, a view that'll give you a plastic look. There it is, we just passed it. So I go down the street where it is real and I drop down and I can go onto a roadway. So what I'm doing... Okay, I'm oh, sorry. Kim's asking ahead. where do we go from here? We're just going to get them out. I'm ordering the Jesuits to kill them. All the cardinals. Was that that... Uh, the one English guy that got away? He knew what was coming. He knew... Mm. He's the only one we can regard as being a witness. What the hell did he get wind up in for? Because say he was already told all over the bloody internet that mm. Christ is back. If these cardinals don't know that Christ is back, there's something bloody wrong. Right? Mm. So they go and vote in Lucifer. Now, what I've done, I've gone to the plastic drawing, gone to the edge of it, where it's real trees, dropped down and found a roadway, and then backed up towards the direction right. of the most holy spot on earth. Oh, top bill. I love it. Where all these righteous men ruled there before the Vatican was set up, which has got Lucifer in the basement and a bloody great penis stuck up with a sacrificial altar underneath that and that's where the boys are. Underneath the obelisk. Yes, that's where they are. That's why it's sweating like that. Every time it rains... The obelisk gets drenched and the water flows down on, off it. So it's not drained properly because the stupid. She said, okay, she said it. the big building at the bottom of the picture. She said a link. So that's the Vatican, what yeah. she's seeing at the bottom of the picture. So it's all the statues. There's a dome there, sir. Yeah. Look at the sun. Yeah. So that is midday. So the sunlight will be shining straight down the path. So what up, what is up the very top of that picture? The spire. So that is where the men are, in underneath the paved area. In underneath the paved area out the front. Yeah. Okay. So that would be underneath the cave. I'm saying it's underneath the this yeah. fire, the obelisk, as it is a penis, okay. and its ejaculation. Wait a okay. Now, say underneath the obelisk is a dungeon. A library. 
Library of Evil. Evil. And is where the ejaculation of the erect penis is the sacrifice of the most righteous men and women on earth. Starting with your children. See, water from heaven is sperm in the Etruscan thought. And the water would then be on the penis which flow down into the base of the penis. Right? Think, think Etruscan. Where the sexual mm. cult mm. Mm. of homosexuality mm. right, sacrifices righteous men, women and children to their god Lucifer. That is why under the Vatican it's a Lucifer cave. Mm. So what it's all about. It's that sick. Right now, so what I did over here was I got down into the trees and then slowly moved my way along. And so what you do is you just place your cursor. Oops, sorry. So I'm going to follow back. <coughs> so I'm following the sun. <laughs> that means the front of Goldolfo is going to be in the sunlight. Yeah. So I backdoored it. I'm under their cover. Now you've got the height of the walls. The colour of the wall. The most righteous place on earth. Where they're trying to kill Peter. Peter. Romanos. Because it's a battle between the Vatican and Gondolfo. And that is why Pius IX was murdered there. He had something he was going to reveal. So. fake Photoshop but you can zoom in and just see how stupid it is very poorly done she said good luck being heard will be one of your hardest tasks no we just said we're going to kill all the conclave one got out of, of, an, uh, an Englishman the only good one in it well, he cut out because he was... You don't know why he got out, do you? Mm. Ask him. So what I'm doing at the moment is zooming over the roof of this, this uh, building that's supposed to be the real building. So 
Same thing in the distance. Where it is there. Go again. Solar eclipse, okay, annular sure. eclipse. Why not? She says, I can see an enormous stone, a white cross in the centre of a grass ring. She's thinking about a roundabout, a physical roundabout. Sounds too weird, but that is the key for you. That place is extremely important, perhaps the information buried there. It is in the same city. Okay, so we could Google the she's talking about an actual roundabout an enormous stone white cross in the centre of a grass ring roundabout but that's a key for you that place is it. she didn't respond to the obelisk at all that's alright, that's, that's good that's in the obelisk then that's not for her to know yeah if she said it was in the obelisk then I wouldn't be doing my job right? Mm. it's what you haven't thought of She just said an enormous stone, white cross, white cross. in the centre of a grass ring. Think she's thinking a roundabout. So we go in, see what we get. saying a real image in actual fact it's a, uh, a, a picture right? so what I, I had to do was go out and come under this, the uh, picture on the road level that's older 
and uh, that way we've got the false image here so land about here somewhere go in there and it's real picture that's all we're going to do is just follow the road up There, so let's go straight to uh, Old Alpha. You see the sunrise on one side. There's the bus turning around. It's going home. There's tours there every day. The most holy place on earth. So we followed it around and. Uh, it's one of those roads where you have to go past it. So you must hit it. And looks like we're there now. It's up the hill, around a bit. There we go. You're there. You see the sunlight coming in that direction, so that means we can go around the corner and have a look. All real, all real number of plates. That back. You have to break in. Become familiar. You tell him what a priest to kill him? No, not yet. Well, tell her. Okay. Let's see what she thinks of it. Tell them, tell them the, what the, uh, the oath is. This picture, because there are real trees right there. Right. So, 
you can do that from the air, but this is when I did it. You can see the date is the 13th of the 3rd, 2012. So, the image itself, which is there, gives you an altitude of 1248 feet. the throne, heir apparent to the throne. <coughs> you then do the stars distance out and measure to the nine planets, including the sun from the earth or the moon. Or both. Now, this is the one here. From where she was born, 3134. Miles, nautical miles from the South Pole, is Maranatha. Where do you spell Maranatha? Maranatha. Maranatha. M-A-R-A-N-A. T-H-A? Yeah. I got it. Finally got one right. So, as I say, uh, Google Earth has Photoshop Gandolfo, and uh, my order, the Jesuits, to slaughter all who voted. In the conclave, I said, Whoever walks out as Pope. Spend twenty five cents on a bullet and shoot the bus.
So that's what I'm saying. Michelle Chilinoy, born March 19th, 1947, which is uh, 1163. 1163 days younger than I. Dundas Street. Ninety Street, Dundas Street, I think it is. Fiction. It's close to that. We went back there one day and this little old lady came out and hadn't seen her for 40 years. She threw her arms around her. Oh, how good it was to see Michelle again. Apparently the boy who lived just there uh, was one of Australia's Olympic champions in uh, long jump. So, basically, I'm saying to the Jesuits, I order you to slaughter all who voted in the conclave and behead Francis. I said, whoever walks out as Pope, spend 25 cents on a bullet and shoot the bastard. He has tried to murder all who know Benedict told Francis Christ is back. They kill him. I'll be right back. De la Concha Greca, which right. means the Greek cross. Right. But Croce, that word came up. That yes, was one name. of the names. Of Croce? Yeah, Croce. Yeah. Croce was one of the names. So yeah. And this is what it is. Croce, yeah, cross. Okay, can we give With a circle name? around it? No, it, it means the Greek cross. The name underneath the photograph? Yeah. Crotchy, it means crop. Greek cross. Okay. So, and this is, and how your friend was saying, it's, it's a plain cross, it's, it's the cross. Yep. The right. plain cross. Right. So, and this is what the images are, are coming up. But she talked cross. about a circle. Maybe that's what it, she said, with a white, white crop. In a circle, she says, much like what she's thinking around about. And she says, it's all that's like a tourist attraction, so it's in plain sight. Everybody. What's the obelisk? No, it's not the obelisk. What is it then? A white cross. She said a white cross. It's tall. Plain white cross, like the one he hung on. Yeah. But it's on a rock. The cross itself is mounted on a rock, and then the rock is on the grass, in a ring. And, and she said people are staring at it all the time, so it's almost like in front of your face. It's so obvious. She, she's been looking everywhere. Yeah. Right now, I'm just going to put this in here and bring it up. It's off the other computer. Yes, the Colosseum, that's where they killed all the Christians. Uh, Adam, Colosseum, his dream, got out of a train with the Colosseum. 
So they're under the cold stream because it is what it was all the dungeons underneath. Yeah, yeah, right. And they even had facilities they could flood it and put crocodiles in this right. centre thing and then feed the people into that for entertainment. They used to have Christians on, on, on uh, stakes all set alight to burn at night for light. That's how much they love Jesus. They wouldn't renounce Jesus. So that's what it is, the centre of the Colosseum. So get us a latitude and longitude of it. Uh, Joel, can you get the latitude and Is he on now? Yeah, it's a Colosseum. Yeah. Just a second. Can you email it me too? To me? Bloody amazing, it's not in here. Just tell me to. Oh. Hold on, let me give me my thing here. Right. What's the coordinates? Okay. 41. Yeah. Now this is in uh, phony drawings again, so therefore that's where it is. Let me 
go from the dungeon out into the centre of the Colosseum and out you go. So it's not real, but it is a drawing. Gives you some idea what it is really like. Yeah, it's like a back door to it, huh? To Gondolfo? No, no, to the Colosseum, the Vatican. Ah. Oh, to the obelisk. Yeah, but... Uh What's the distance to Gondolfo? The Vatican's obvious. The battle between good and evil, right? Gondolfo is where the good is and I can't move him. See, I'm ordering the uh, Jesuits to um, kill all of the men that uh, voted in the conclave. One got out, the English fellow. So I'm going to try and measure now from there. Colosseum. It's 11 11 nautical miles at 320.61 degrees. Is that a nudge or not? That is a nudge. That's all I need. 320. Tell you where another one we found it. Sydney Olympics. Pull on the other twice. Yeah. Millions of animals got slaughtered in terror there. Yeah, and then the My father hauled the first reactor into Lucas Heights. Okay, the uh, bearing is um, 320.61, which is uh, offspring, boy, child, fruit, first fruit, 3205, something born. Mm -hmm. right, so that's where it is. Mm -hmm. uh, all these people that were slaughtered in there have been reborn, reincarnated. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them are Jesuits. And there's good Jesuits, and there's good Jesuits. They all. Swore the horrid oath, which I think is disgusting. However, 
when the Lord tells them to do it, do it. And I'm saying, round up all the cardinals and kill them any way you like. Then you uh, introduce Vatican III. It's the end of it. So with this piece of shit thing here, we can look up how many feet it is, how many kilometres is 20.58? Like a drill. Should have a camera on this. We'll have one. We've got the camera going? This one is the camera. Right. Going to take it over there behind you? Oh, no, no, you can just turn around. This is uh, in uh, kilometres interpretation, right? From 2059. I'm doing a screen capture here too, so oh, it means to interpret, right? Uh, you can then do it in um, inches, eight one zero one. It's the first number, or eight zero one. That sounds like eight hundred, eight one zero, I should say. An excess riot. So this is referring to fish. Thank you, darling. Thank you very much. A testicle is bunched together. A stone. Yeah. I have Lucifer by the testicle. Okay, so. Beheading. Seven five one. To shade an opaque object, begin to be dark, shadowing. Something hovering over. Seven nine. What is that? The image that the eleven point eleven nautical mile from Castel Gandalfo to the Colosseum. Yeah. Oh, you've traced it out, have you? Well, Joel has. Yeah, he's dick. Quite as hairy as Mary in the morning. Through sleepy eyes, I saw her lying there. Uh -huh. So I know how to pick Lucifer. Yeah. Just go where your stomach turns. Yeah. This is what the Apostles' Creed's all about, it's right. You had to go to, to hell and on the third day rise again from the dead. From the dead is here in hell, right? Yeah. So what do you got from me, baby? When I'm there, open it again. Oh, it's from like the dead centre of the Colosseum to the front door of the palace. Yes. It's not bad, is it? And most of those people that died in there were British. They used to call me Angel Landers because he had blue eyes, mm. white skin, that curly hair, somewhere. blonde hair, blue eye, blue um, other brown hair, sometimes dark curly. Mm -hmm. Dark curly would give rise to the Aryan race. 
which is interesting. I made a movie with it one time, and I uh, had this guy, he was a Jew, and he was the most Aryan looking. And they offered him freedom. From the firing squad. The Hitler's supposed to be doing it, right? Mm. Makes it look good. And uh, of course, he's too stupid to take him up on the deal, and they kill him. Well, it's a very, very stupid thing to do. I mean, if they give you the chance to get away, get away, right? You always come back and kill them later, mm. so to speak, if you're in a battle. Now, uh, the measure from there. And whatever it is. Did you see the caption under that picture of the cross in the Colosseum? No, it was the thanks. Thanks for the cross, John Paul II. There you go. I'm measuring Tritukum on this thing here. Nine nine zero three. So what's a nine nine zero? Ah, eight six zero five Sterling Arm Drive. That's the other lake I was saying the other day, it had to be lake, right? And the other lake I lived on was 8605, still the drive. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll use their numbers, it's all right. <laughs> when it fits, keep the cap on, right? 7582. 7582. Low waste, desolate. So all the um, all the hundreds of thousands of uh, Jesuits out there, I uh, only need one of you to believe me and go kill the bastard. Mm. Now this is interesting. This thing because I talked about Adam. She said Adam has a link to the fair-haired man in the photo of the two men. That's George Gunn Swain. She says Adam has a link to him. To which? Who? George, Archbishop George. She's saying. Adam has a link to Archbishop George. To the fair-haired man in the photo. Oh, right. Photo. Archbishop George. And 8605. Gorgeous George. Yeah. <laughs> 8605 is a prayer. Get a session. So we go up here. Back to that horrid thing. I'll put another pin in. Angel. Young, voluptuous one. Did I say yes or not? Oh, you got one. Oh, right. And you got a lukewarm coffee there too. Oh, dear me. <laughs> yeah. Can I heat it up again? Yeah. <laughs> heat it up for me, la. I forgot it was there.
the number to the from that Colosseum to the highest point on Mount Ararat that I could find is 1446.96 nautical miles. No, one 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 four four six. The Hebrew language. Eva on the patriarchs. Now, in uh, miles, it's 1665, is a good number. Elizabeth. Now, Elizabeth was the longitude of the um, um, deep horizon. Uh, Intentional right, yeah. trying to create a bomb. Yeah. That's Elizabeth, her company. She's responsible. That's right. Um, in kilometres, two six seven nine. It's just a resting place. Destroy and ruin. Eight seven nine feet. To become awake. Well of heroes. What's this one coming from? Coming from the Colosseum to the highest point on Mount Ararat. Ah, right. Yeah. See, this is also you can measure to the Shroud of Turin, for example. Yeah, and the Rio statue. Yeah, you just go mad. I mean, but someone else can do all that, though. While he's still got the strength, he should knock him out. Well, she's not saying that he's one of the captives. He doesn't, she doesn't recognise... Oh, well, I'm talking about wherever he is. Yeah, both are good, but need to act for the Just reach over and take the old guy and cut his throat. Destroy pluck five two five point five three kilometers. So it's another destroy. Yeah. As I said before, I'll do it. You give me the axe and give him give me his head. You wanted to terrify us by having the head of our beloved son delivered. Three two six five miles. Prevailing power. Curry. 
area. We cover life, literally. Throughout our terrain. The people in the Colosseum had faith in Jesus. And that gets them back. From the Colosseum to Turin is Live Again Revival. 326. Um, Mayus. Anything of that? At the bearing of 3140. Testify, give testimony. See if these. What what's happening now? We we behead what's his face. So right now, bring forth Benedict and George and Sister to give them all, bring them forward. Right. So I'm telling the Jesuits to do it, right? And to kill all of the men who voted in this monster. in the Colosseum? Hmm. What about? Well, it's hard because the picture I found it's sort of on an angle looking up at the cross Couldn't get out. coordinates of it, eh? Not the exact cross itself, no. Oh. We've got a few more numbers here. 2837. Oh, you're ignoring your friend. Desire, delight. Be dead. Not be able to see it on him. Deceased. Well, I got it here. I was just kind of going to have a look. Three, four, seven, two. Harriet, as my sister used to say often. Right, clear it. From there, now I was going somewhere else and I've forgotten now. Condorfer. Four. <laughs> Problem is they can't take him out of the holy city. But that's where the ruling pope is, right? Not in the, the uh, domain of this monster. Okay, that'll do. No, I forgot what I was going to do. Oh, 
see me. I'm gonna do it. First, six, seven, seven, two. Thirsty. That's measuring from uh, the Shrouded Turin to Gondolfa. I'll, I'll clear it and do it again. Make sure that it right, because this is playing up this thing. What'd you say? Okay, one seven nine one feet. This The easy one kilometers five four six. Indeed, surely, but obviously, threaten, forbid, to forbid, to menace. I'm just doing that. Goodness me, five four. Six zero. Full of life. Governor, five four six one. Prince Ruler. That's in kilometres, and it's three one. Four three degrees. Jehovah will cause to dwell. Three one four three. To obtest. Take to record. Testify. Three one four four. Right. So you're, you're measuring. This is a martyr. Another one. Witness. Now we do it in miles. Three three nine two point two. Defile morally. Taint. Two three nine two. Two three nine one. Two three nine one. Moon month. Okay, lunation. Got it. Two nine four eight nauticals. Two nine four point eight. A hand's breadth. Okay. Two nine four eight. Maimed. Crippled. Maimed. I imagine Lucifer is a bit that way at the moment. So when you get through with the uh, Cardinals, 
taking out the Illuminati, followed by the entire Knesset who supported Netanyahu, the entire Congress of the United States, the House of Lords of England, exciting story, you know. The idea of being circular John 11.35 Jesus wept My wife was weeping. But Jesus wept. Eleven thirty five means woman, wife. Son of Chanan is the uh, Hebrew, Ben Hanan. So I'll get some expert to talk about that. So that's nautical miles. Now we do uh, degrees, 491. Then I do inches. Two one four nine. Shaking. Vilest. Now the prophecy, everything that offends, right? Yeah. Be loose morally, to quake, to shake in fear, worthless or prodigal. Low down, glutton, riotous, eater, vile. To scatter profusely, despise. Next number on that line is uh, 6958. Vomit, spew up again. Drink is six nine five. As big as you can go, baby. Silversmith. to go watch the movies.
says here that you tell me what this is, I'll read it to you. The temple as God's residence, the body as a tenant for the soul, tabernacle. Would it be somewhere where I live and somewhere where the shroud is? <laughs> That's Port Alberni yeah. to uh, Turin. To Turin. Hmm. A tabernacle. Yeah. <laughs> it says Skoma, it's pronounced Skenoma from 4637, an encampment. Fictively, the temple as God's residence. The body as a tenant for the soul. Tabernacle. Mm-hmm. So you're a dead one or a live one. Right then, just pick them then. Five, three, three, seven miles. Evil, wicked. What an announcement that was going to be, eh? The shroud of Turin. Mm. He's back. Mm. Brilliantly done. So now they do it all over again, right? Just tell me to do it right. Get rid of the devil. Pudilometers. Eight, five, eight, nine. Affliction of self, fasting, heaviness. The wonderful thing is Google Earth is, imagine how great it's going to be when we get it to run accurately. Seven seven one six degrees. That is probably right. So the idea of pushing out to graze a member of a flock, a sheep or a goat, less a small cattle, you goat, lamb, sheep compare two zero eight nine. Two zero eight nine. Sheep, a lamb. <laughs> 1 Samuel 17.34 It's at 3224 degrees heading. I think you did that in Hebrew. 3224 Jim Emma, Job's daughters. Lovely name. Jim Emma, Jim Emma. It's pronounced Yim Emma. So in this one here, I'm just saying, well, basically, kill all the Illuminati, uh, kill all the Knesset, kill all the people in Obama's court, uh, English, House of Lords, all right, they're all in on it, all the royal family, get rid of them. Well, the Queen had to do it, make one phone call. Didn't do it. I offered her. I said, I'll keep everybody. But if you don't do it, I'll, you're all dead. You've got to kill the line off. That's evolution. <laughs> the mightiest survive. They know that. They taught it. Darwin said so. We look at inches. Three three eight two. A thigh. Hmm. That's a an oath you grab by the thigh, right? Stop and pulling a knife on you. And you shake hands, right? You grab the sword. Make sure you can't pull it, right? Because you're shaking with the right hand, you grab with your left on the sword. You grab it on your side. That's what I mean. You can pull a knife out and stab you. And 
inches. I think I've done feet. Yeah, I haven't. 939, that was a good number. Despised one. Scorned. Okay. 939 and Drew coming at you. The foot. 391's after that. 3917. 3917. A leopard. I think that represents England. The screech owl. This represents a devil, right? So the hard England. All the royal families into it. Big time. So the, the crown was given to the Pope, and that was it, that's where it stayed ever since. Can't take it back. The twisting away of light. So anyhow, I think that uh, is pretty wonderful stuff there. shall see. We've got all those plastic buildings again.
testing. is just um, giving them order to kill them. We already told the idiot that uh, said his head was delivered, right? We've already seen that. So there'll be no one walking in with a suit on begging forgiveness and say, right, I give up now. He's going to have his head chopped off. Mm -hmm. No forgiveness for Lucifer. Rothschild Avenue. Somewhere around there. 